All right, we got a couple minutes. I, again, I don't think this is gonna work. I just thought we would try it. Whoa! What the? <laughs> I am so tripping out. What happened to my vehicle? That's me. What's going on guys? Dre here and welcome to well, it's 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 back to the future pretty much, but it's called No Time. So yes, this is an open world time traveling game where we can use our DeLorean here to uh, go back and forward into the future and into the past. So yes, this is actually a game that's pretty heavily story driven, but what I like about it as well is it's totally open world. If you want to do whatever you want, you can. There's supposed to be a bunch of secrets, a bunch of side missions. And yeah, today we're going to check out this very early version of the game. Now, as I said, uh, very early version, so it is very much in development still, uh, but it does look pretty good. Now, we got our uranium here. This is currently what powers our time traveling device, so if you put it back in the reactor here, it looks like it automatically automatically one in we got our reactor hatch this thing oh my god this 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 vehicle looks so good i love a good delorean but especially one that can time travel so yeah we got some uranium in the front too so we have enough to do a couple time travels so i think what we're gonna do today is uh just check out the open world aspect of this game uh at, at least for the start and then we might go on a side quest or something to check it out all right let's get inside this place and, yeah, currently we're in 1984. You know what? Before we time travel, let's just see what it looks like in 1984 in this game. So, we have uh, a little town down here. There's actually a whole map that we can explore. And I thought we'd actually go down here and check out what it looks like in 1984. Alright, we got Ben's Donuts on the side. We do have to eat food. I don't know if you saw on the, on the far right, but this is, you know, a very light survival game as well. Uh, you gotta keep yourself full. Welcome to good old Pine Lake, everybody. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you can talk to the citizens here, uh, try and find some side quests. I was actually talking to the developer, and I believe we can pick up a book that might have urban legends on it. So it looks like we have, I think that's a car station, but I'm pretty sure this is the bookshop. So I want to stop here. Yes, as you can see, books at the top. What's up, Johannes the Librarian? How are you doing, buddy? Do I got to talk to you? Uh, so what can I get you? No items to buy. I think, okay, so I think you actually gotta go get the items, and it looks like the flower book. Alright, that's the only book I'm seeing, so I'm wondering if there's a certain time frame that we have to come back and buy the book that I'm looking for, because I know what I'm supposed to buy here, and it's definitely not here. So I'm wondering, yeah, maybe the book hasn't been made yet. This whole time traveling thing's gonna trip me out. All right, but yeah, obviously it looks very 1984-like. We got uh, brick buildings, some people walking all around, old-style cars, as you can see, besides mine, of course. And, oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay, I didn't know what you were doing there. Just freaking cut me off, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm running you over, too. Okay, I'm going to have to get out of 1984 because I'm probably wanted now. All right, so I think you guys know how this works. We got to get up to 88 miles per hour, and I, I noticed at the top of this hill it said start here, so this is obviously a great runway for uh, going into the future. But you can do it anywhere. Uh, obviously, you need quite a long strip of road, though. So here we go. What we're going to do right now, uh, there is actually the main quest line that you automatically pick up, and it wants me to go to 2014. Let me just make sure I read that right. So, yeah, we have this. Um... I had to escape with the time machine, so yeah, basically we stole the time machine. Who knows what the people behind would have done with it. I hope Edward made it out safe. Either ways, I should get far away. Maybe in time? I always wanted to visit the distant future of 2014. Uh, so yeah, let's go see what 2014 looks like in this game. Oh, also, I should mention, um, I'm thinking these are all the different time frames that you can go to. So you can actually go all the way to 1 AD to 2030 if you want to. But I'm pretty sure these are all the different dates that actually change the map. So quite a few different maps you can go to. Uh, I definitely want to try like 1 AD later though and just see what happens. Uh, all right. So it wants me to go to 2014 right now. I will do that. We got to turn our reactor on. Don't need lighting on right now. Uh, do the time conduction. And this is where it gets a little complex. We actually have to manually set our destination. So, yeah, let's go, um, well, let's just go January the 1st. Why not? Right at the start of the year. 
Uh, 2014. And let's do 12. Midday, so it's not dark out. All right, I I'm liking that. We're going to turn that on. And I guess now everything's ready to go, so let's just try it out. Hopefully I did this right, or we're probably going to kill ourselves. Once we hit that 88, though, there we go. And am I doing it? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, well, it's January, so obviously there's some snow on the ground now. I noticed that right away. But I'm also seeing there's, like, holograms. So obviously this is very much based off, off of the Back to the Future movie where they thought 2014 would be extremely futuristic. And I can see, what the hell is that in the sky? Hold on, my car is actually overheating as well. I should probably cool that down. Oh, we got flying cars, ladies and gentlemen. We have flying cars already. This is exciting. All right, looking kind of similar. I don't remember the palm trees, but they might have been there. And is the Burger Lord, I saw Chinese writing on the Burger Lord. Looks like there's somebody out front that actually has a quest as well. Let me, let me, let me, let me go talk to that guy. I heard back in the 70s there was an accordion man whom you would not want to meet at night out in the wild. Uh, I want to learn more about this. Well, I suppose you can try it at the town archives of the courthouse in Pine Lake. Okay, so I'm assuming we can find more information at the uh, town ar archives. So that's good to know. Hello, ladies. How are you doing? Uh, I just want to go in here. Yeah, the Burger Lord was, like, taken over by robots. steve son. How are you? Konnichiwa. Welcome to Perker Lord. This is weird. I'm going to leave. I already have food, and I only got 40 bucks to my name, so we're not going to go too crazy. eBay. eBay. Oh, the old eBay. Oh, my God. Things are actually popping up automatically. Um, so I can buy a gun and soda all at the same place. That's amazing. All right. Seriously, just going to jaywalk? I, this thing doesn't have good brakes, so if I hit you, my bad. Is that, is that the mechanic? Wait. I think I saw. Hold on. Hover conversions. We can actually make a hover car. Now, I did see a GIF of this game, and you can fly around. Oh, man, it's 500 bucks to have a hover car conversion. Well, we don't have any money in the bank right now, so we're not going to get that. Oh, that actually reminds me. Excuse me, sir. He almost ran me over. Let's go to the bookshop again. And, well, that's a new book. And that's it. Okay, Urban Stories. Is five bucks worth it? Hell yeah. Let's pick this thing up. Okay, so do I just bring this over here? Oh my god, everybody's eyes in this game is absolutely horrifying. All right, drop that there. I would like to buy that, Jason the Librarian. Um, hey man, do you want to buy a book? Yes, I do, Jason the Librarian. We're going to pay five bucks. And I guess this is mine now. Thank you. Good. Whoa, okay. Um, I'm just going to read this here, I guess. So yeah, sewers got into the sewers. People tell tales that the cats grew three times the normal size. Though there are no reports of any sightings of the cats, maintenance workers have told of set meowing sounds. Okay, we're gonna have to work on the typos here. What the hell was that? That car just fall from the sky. Oh, he probably just landed. Okay, back, back to my book. Set of meowing sounds that haul through the tunnels. Okay, so there, there's giant cats in the, in the tunnels. Great. Elusive explosions. There have been tales over the years of exploding and disappearing cars. These stories need to be confirmed yet by visual evidence. All right. Uh, that's probably just glitches that happen, and he just made an urban story out of it. I'm imagining. The accordion man. Isn't that... That's what that guy talked about. Okay, so this one I'm interested in. Not much was known about this occurrence. The main source of information came from the old Erwin B. Ather. In the 1970s, he reported many sightings on the border of the old forest. Many others also described first accordion sounds in a sense of incredible dead creeping up. Dread creeping up, sorry. The old Eldwin claimed that he had a close encounter with the accordion man at some point after which he fainted and... Did you just fart? Did I fart? Who farted? <laughs> Sorry, it's very weird rereading a book in front of a man staring at me. The accordion man at some point after which he fainted and woke up in his bed after the 70 sightings ceased, but the mystery stayed and people tell tales of the accordion man. So we have to go to the 70s and we have to go to the, the old forest? Is that what it was called? On the border to the old forest. So, yeah, the border. Um, and that's it, I think. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's all the story. So, you know what? Can we actually get into the tunnels, though? I want to see if I can find the giant rats. There's a man cover here. Can I actually... Oh, my God, I can go in. Uh, meow? Any giant cats down here? I do not like this because I do not have a light. Can I... All right, let's just keep going for a second. Sewers, obviously, there's got to be something down here. And, oh, God. Okay, it's a heart. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a red eye. What the hell? Oh, it's a crab! Hello, crab.
How are you? I'm going to punch you. G goodbye, good sir. What the hell is that? Whoa. Oh, I'm freaking out. It's, it's the cat! I hear it! I'm coming, kitty! Uh, okay, so that's the exit. Where, where does this lead to, just out of curiosity? Okay. What's up, sewer people? How, how you guys doing? What the hell is this? Time break. Oh, I can collect those. I should probably get off the railway, railway tracks. So I just found this, like, giant sewer mansion. The cat is definitely in here somewhere. Where, like, what the hell is this? I can't use the door. I'm so confused. Okay, it looks like it maybe continues this way. Oh, God, this is... This is getting weird. Okay, you know what? I hit another dead end. I went basically to the other side of the city. Oh, I, can I not get out of this one? Okay, can. Come on, gully. Let me out. Let me... Okay, thank God. Where the hell am I now? random place to put a gully. All right, so we're back at the hub of town now. Uh, going to 2014, like I said, was part of the main quest line, and we're looking for Edward. Uh, saying he wanted to open up an inventor shop somewhere around. I don't know. ER, maybe it's Edward? Laboratory? Inventor shop? I'm not really sure. Are you Edward? Welcome to my workshop. I am ER Arthur, inventor. Oh, yes! Are you here for repairs, or are you perhaps in need of a scientific consultation? Um... Well, I just wanted to... Wait a moment. You look r rather familiar. Have we met before? Bah! Never mind that now. I can actually use your assistance. Sure, what's up, dude? Uh, sir, what's going on in your store? So this is obviously deep into the Back to the Future references, but seriously, the crabs have invaded. Uh, wait a moment. Wait, what's, what's going on with me? Am I... Am I dying? Okay, hold on, I'm dying! I just died. I just <laughs> I just... I forgot to eat! Damn it! Okay, so, uh... I listened to his long story. He needs a crap load of items. I don't know if we'll do that today, but if you guys like this, uh, we'll possibly do more of that in a later episode. This is so trippy. We have old cars and flying subway trains, it looks like, of some sort. So I think we're gonna go back to the main quest. There's obviously a bunch of different quests we can do. That, is, that actually looks like a side quest. So the accordion man, I should take a hike to the town archives at the courthouse in Pine Lake. Maybe I'll find out more. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm not certain. I'm just gonna leave my car here. I don't think people are gonna mind, are they? I mean, look at the pile up that I made. Oh, I'm such an ass. But yeah, I think, I mean, this kind of looks like a townhouse. I don't know. Uh, it's a post office and the town archives. Wow, that was seriously lucky. I had no idea it was in here. First try. Okay. Let's go find the accordion man. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. That's got to be it. Aha! The cold case of the accordion man. All right. So what do I do? That night, I took a stroll into the forest. Then it happened. What happened? I heard the sounds and then I can't. You came here. Tell the story. Is that... How, how do I flip them? No, flip... Don't punch them. I'm, I'm literally punching the page. Please continue. He jumped from the corner of my eye. A rush of fear grabbed me, and I faded out of shock, I guess. Next morning, I woke, ba woke back up in my bed. So it was just a dream then? No, others have also heard these, but it seems this was just a fever dream. After all, you seem to be unharmed, and you woke in your bed. I would aid in consulting someone if this dream will repeat. Now, I wish you a good evening. That, that's what I came here for. All right, well, that didn't give me much more information. I know where we got to go, though. Um, can I put this in my inventory? Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm dropping everything. All right, I may as well eat my snack. I'm getting a little a little, little hungry. I can't even put that in my inventory? Oh, why, why can't I put... Okay, well, it didn't really give me much information anyway. So, that's all I got here. What the hell is this place, though? Hold on, just that I... What the... That's creepy. I'm not going over there. I'm going to get murdered. Okay, so we got some uranium in the front. We can still jump, so we're going to go to 1970. Throw that in there. There we go. May as well store this one. Uh, can I put it in here? It doesn't seem to actually slot into place, so we're just going to drop it in there, and hopefully it stays. All right. Let's set this thing up. Whoa, am I a freaking owl? Jesus, that's... Whee! That's impressive. 88 miles per hour. Can we get it here? As long as a car doesn't swerve out in front of me, we should be okay, I think. Oh, keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, this is really hard to drive once it does this. Am I doing it? Oh, got it. Oh, Jesus, I just hit a lady. Okay, this is weird. Um, we didn't do it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Okay, 
I uh, actually don't know where this place is we need to go to, but we do have a map. Oh my god, it's so much more beautiful when it's not winter out. Whoa! Oh, that's so cool. This is awkward. Hello, Mr. Nice. Consoling the mother. Don't worry. It will be alright. He is strong. We will find him. Oh man, is this another quest line? I'm curious. We lost our son. He went out to the woods, and now he went missing. Oh, the accordion man got him. If you want to help, I guess old Edwin on the other side of the forest knows more. The police questioned him already. I don't know if you'll be able to find out more. Okay. Um, I'm assuming... Is this... This has got to be the, the old forest down here, then. If they're crying here, talking about him going into the forest. Let me just make sure this is right. Yeah, I'm definitely walking towards the old forest. What the frick are you? What the... Ah! No! Don't eat me! Oh, God. No. God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. The, the wildlife is dangerous. And I'm a dummy that never saves in this game, and you have to manually save, so... Oh, I can buy a levee board. <laughs> Works even on water. But, yeah, I think we're going back to the start. God damn it. I did so much there, too. Well, at least we can go to nighttime now and see what happens. Yeah, we're all the <laughs> way at the start. Damn it! Open my notepad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I do? Active. Oh, yes. This place is awfully quiet. Oh, you're freaking me out now. <gasps> is that him? Is that him? Ah! Oh, God! That's... <laughs> I, can't. I can't. There's something creepy about that. We found him! Oh, my God. No! Why did this turn into a horror game? This was about time travel. I just wanted to explore. Why did I decide to go in the creepy place? Um... Okay, so is it every time I look away? Does he get closer? Oh, dude, that's definitely him, right? It's a little dark. I'm following a creepy accordion man. There's someone sleeping over here. Wait, is that an animal? Okay. I know where the ruins are. I do not want to wait wake this guy because he's the guy that killed me. Well, there he is. What's up, dude? I, I'm thinking he's nice. Are you peaceful? All right, open my notepad again. Let's see what it says. Um, there are ruins marked right ahead on the map. I should take a look there. Okay, so we already found his home, clearly. Now we found the creepy bastard himself. I wish I could get close to look at him, but he keeps running away. I thought he would attack me. I mean, they keep talking about him attacking people from behind. He, he probably will now. You just wait for it. Okay, just looking in your creepy homes. Oh, wait, this opened. I'm pretty sure, yes. Entrance? Oh, my God. I cannot see. I cannot see, guys. Clearly, we need a light or something. Oh, I cannot see. What is this? The dragon seems to be stuck. Am I going to release? Seems fair, but it's foul. What? Freedom. Truth. Serpent. Oh, this is a whole puzzle. Okay, so I'm assuming if we dug deeper into the lore, we would find the combination for this. But because I went straight to it, I'm, I'm just I'm just clicking these and hoping for the best. Did I somehow get back to the start? Yes. Oh, dude. Okay, so I think we have to be able to buy a light. I mean, I'm going to need a light to figure out that is that place is giant. So I think if you guys like this game. We'll unearth more of the Accordion Man in the next one, because it's obviously very intriguing. Uh, but I just want to do some time, time travel now, so we're going to go to daytime so we can actually see. And, uh, yeah, we'll just try some simple time travel. See, see what the game looks like. I have no idea what to expect here, but as long as we can get up... Oh, God, I can't even see. I cannot see. Come on, do it quick, do it quick. Oh! Oh my god. I didn't expect that, but obviously civilization hasn't been around yet. Is there freaking dinosaurs here? Oh my god. Like, what? This is amazing. Like, why haven't we had any good time traveling games before this? Maybe we have, but I can't think of any. Um, I'm just looking for the giant monsters that are around here. Doesn't look like there's any, but there could, they could be anywhere too. I don't know. You know what? Let's cool this thing down as we're exploring. And, uh, I don't know where we're gonna jump next. We can go all the way to the future, but I think the future is the same. The max we can go is 2030, and I think that's exactly the same as 2014, so I kind of want to go to old times and see what's there. The fun part is, now that I'm jumping without roads anywhere, I could jump into a freaking building, and I have no idea. 
Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything. Not saying there isn't anything here. Let me actually see. It looks like there was some man-made structures over there. At least they look square. There's obviously a volcano up there. We could probably explore that. I mean, there's just... There's so much potential with a game like this. Like, you could add so many different secrets. And I'm hoping they add more of that. Because don't get me wrong, I like main quest lines. But when it comes to a time-traveling game, I just want to explore. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Yeah, you know what? That's way too high. We'll obviously do some more exploring if you guys like this game. Right now, I just want to see what the other places are like. So let me actually exit the car. Okay, we got our last cell. Our last chance to go somewhere, at least in this run. So we're going to try this out now. I wanted to check the map and see. So yeah, the earliest ones are like the 1550s, and I'm assuming... I'm assuming now that we went to one, there's like literally nothing here. But I want to go, let's try 1570, around there. Oh, where am I going to be? Okay, never mind. Ooh, there we go. So I, I expected like at least villages. There's got to be, I'm just in the middle of nowhere. Okay, yeah, I just passed through Park Hill. I went through all these different places that used to have buildings. And unfortunately, they're not here. So I'm assuming a settlement hasn't been created here yet. Uh, so yeah, you're going to have to play with the times to really find the points of interest. Obviously, if you go through the quest lines too, they'd probably send you to the majority of them. Unfortunately, we're all out of uh, juice now, or should I say uranium. So we can't time travel anymore. We are stuck here with nothing. Now, thankfully, there is a low game button, so we're going to go back to the start. I want to try one more thing. I want to see if we can spawn in ourselves in the future. In the future, in the past, I don't even know how it works. But I want to see if we can actually see ourselves. All right, so what I'm going to do is go to June 2nd, 1989, which is my birthday. Yes, I am that old. And we're going to go to 12 o'clock. Now, I hope my, my my puny brain can figure this out right, but maybe if I jump twice, we can actually see myself jump? I don't, I don't know if that will work or not, but now if we jump to 1989 at 12, how fast does the time go in this game? Quite fast, as you can see, and then we jump forward a little bit. From that, once again, we might see us jump. My, 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 my brain can't even comprehend this, but I think it might work. All right, so here we go. Okay, so welcome to early June. So now all we gotta do is go back to the top of that hill, I think, and then jump from an earlier time? Would that make sense? Or or am I just dumb? And welcome to 30 minutes earlier. And now we wait. Once it hits 12, we might see ourselves? I don't know. All right, we got a couple minutes. I, again, I don't think this is gonna work. I just thought we would try it. Whoa! What the? <laughs> I am so tripping out. What happened to my vehicle? That's me. That's me. <laughs> Dude, this game. Okay, I didn't know if, if we made like multiple multiple dimensions or how this worked. Did I just get out of here? I, I have no idea, but I love this game so much that you can actually do that. All right. Well, guys, that was a quick look at no time. Now, if you guys want to see more of this, I do want to dig deeper into this and see what kind of secrets we can unearth. And uh, just something about time travel is so damn fun. Also, the accordion man, we got pretty deep into that, but I got to figure out how to get a light source. I want to, you know, maybe go back to the archives and see if I can find more information on him. Um, because we got through the dragon door, but from that... It was, it was really dark, and I couldn't figure out where, where to go. So, yeah, if you guys like this, show your support by hitting that like button. Put some comments down below if you want to see any uh, different time frames. And maybe if you guys can think of a secret or two, uh, yeah, put them in the comments below, and maybe we'll try and uh, see if we can find any more secrets. But, yeah, this is no time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to know anything more about it, link me in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.